Hello and welcome back to my Craft the World, I was going to say. <laughs> my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where we are starting exactly from where we left off in the last episode, where I'm about to head back to my house with all of the loot that we got and mined from um, the mining expedition. Now, I have a project to do back home, and that requires... Well, quite a bit of stuff, but it's going to help us a lot here. Um, so yes, I will pack this up. Oh dear, this is going to fill a lot. Um, I'm going to take the most important things. So stuff like coal, iron, redstone, uh, gunpowder will eventually be very useful. I'll definitely take the fence. I might even go down for more in the future. I'll take all the string just in case. Definitely the lapis lazuli because I do need more of that. And I'm full. Um, yeah. Where are the shulker boxes when you need them? <laughs> um, okay. Leave that here for now. Um, I do want those and I definitely want those. Um, okay. You know what? Leave the rest here for now. I can come back for that later, as I will most likely be getting going back to get more fence down from the mine shaft. So I will head back, and I got a project to um, to do back home, and it's something to do with smelting all these ores, because well, let's be honest, it's gonna take a while to do all those. <laughs> so I got a little build project, a little. I guess, oh no, a little, I guess, redstone project, maybe, you could say, but it's a very minor one. It's more like stuff with maybe a minecart with chest or something, you never know. But anyways, I'll be back at home, and I'll see you then. Stay tuned. The reason why you always hear this um, sound is from my secondary, not secondary, my extra mouse button that I use normally in my Minecraft server let's play series for zooming so I can zoom right into my face but I'm not running up to fine here um, because I wanted to keep it well look at the sword because I wanted to keep it um, mod free completely so I don't use up to fine um, so I can't zoom like that so yeah but anyways I'll meet you back home see you in a second don't be alarmed it would seem that I have found an error in the textures of mine the new texture updates released from Minecraft because this should be a donkey. It kinda creeped me out for a second. <laughs> um yeah, something's wrong. I need to figure out how to Yep, there's there's another one. Um I need to figure out how to well post that to Mojang or something if I can make a bug report about it <laughs> um, yeah so that was interesting I just saw something floating and I was like what is that another one see how creepy that is Ugh. anyways see you back home Ugh. get that picture out of my head oh here are the new fish salmons I'm pretty sure they are nice we'll have to do some fishing whoa yeah, that's a zombie. Or a drown. Ow. I lost my helmet. Ow. They hit hard. Whoa. They hit very hard. Yeah, I can't even see him right now. He's down there. It's not coming up. Well, I got my own utilities. Except that they don't go very far. There we go. Take that. Yeah. Oh no, my shield's gone. I can take him on without, though. He's not that dangerous. Ow. Okay, yes, yes. I got him, though. Nice. He didn't drop one, though, unfortunately, but he did use up my entire shield, and look at all that. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, I have a secondary shield, so that's good. He also made me lose my helmet. Uh, okay. Now this time, I'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay. I definitely need to change my textures. 
something is very long, very, very long, very wrong in this texture update thingy. That, that's, that's, um, you know what, I'm just gonna pass by. That's weird. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. Hopefully nothing's changed in here. Enchantment table, good. Chests, good. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's put away some stuff. We got this diamond, nice. We got some iron, we got redstone. We also got a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of lapis lazuli. We also got a stack of coal. We got some spare armor, which is good. Um, also have some gunpowder. Okay, uh, oh no, we have Bunch of ores, that neat, smelting. And I have these guys. That's just wonderful. Um, yes, let's fix that, shall we? That is, wow, that is what we are going to be doing today. So I don't even care about the textures right now because I want to do this. Though, with that said, this might not be the best location for it because it is kind of big i did not realize it would be this big so i might need to do some re um some changes around here but this is why i prioritized the part rail over some other stuff because i needed more of the powered rail and well actually, i actually don't think i need time because i need power rails in this um build so there we go. Nine is exactly how many I need. And didn't I grab the... I didn't grab the detector rails, did I? No. Okay. I wanted to have grabbed the... To have grabbed the... Um, the detector rails, but you know what? It's fine. Um, but this is going to be a larger build, so... I might need to make this my bedroom. I'll be right back when I have um, decided what to do here. Uh-oh. <laughs> This might fill up some space. But with all that said, I now have the amount of width or the the width and the um, length <laughs> that we need to have available. So we need, hmm, depends on how long we're going to make this. And I'm thinking 12 by five should do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's not enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This place right here could do it. It could do it. But I was thinking about adding some more stuff back here, maybe a corridor and like here, and then have some redstone contraptions down that side. But maybe I just need to figure out a smaller design 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I could make a 10 but then it wouldn't be as efficient as I was hoping for um, how much we got over here that's definitely 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's 12 then we should be able to do that but then right in here we have that and then it needs to be five out so that would fill too much um this is not working out too well as i would have thought it would one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nope not good enough uh this this is horrible one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know what? This could do. This could do because we don't have anything back here. No, nothing. And it is one, two, three. Yep. You know what? This is it. <laughs> this is it right here. Um, I can put this shield away now. So yes, I was kind of like lost there, but um, we should be good. Anyways, so now we should have plenty of space. So one, two, three, uh, actually one, two, three, four, five. Then we have six and just clear the roof. Clear the roof. Need the roof cleared. Let me just clear this area and I'll be right back. 
again. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, a suitable area has now been excavated. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, which is exactly the length we want. I know it sounds lengthy, but it's gonna be good, hopefully. So temporarily, I'm going to put all this stuff in here um, because not my pickaxe, so I do need that. Um, Okay, so now we need to craft some stuff. Quite a lot, actually. Um, so to do this, first off, I know that we need... Whoa, my mouse sensitivity is way too big. Hold up, there we go. Okay, so I do know that we need... Um, not those. We need, first off, two chests. Two chests. And then we need to make two... Well, that's not how you make them. We need to make two minecarts. <laughs> Just need to uh, rethink everything. Two minecarts with chest. So that's the first thing that we need to make. After that, we need to make a bunch of hoppers. And I think for this, we will then need... Um, that's 11, so that's minus. So nine hoppers, which means we need nine chests. And this is not enough, so obviously we'll take this. And one, two, three. I might do some calculation stuff wrong here, but... We should be able to fix everything just fine. So, one, two, three, just one more. There we go. It is a lot of iron, but I um, want to make all this stuff. So, yeah. Okay. With that done, I then need to excavate five out. So, one, two, three, four. And the other one, I can just do like... Um, I can just make it it's very small the last block so i'm not even going to count that in i don't think but this will be a lot of excavating so stay tuned also because in 1.13 phantoms were introduced to the game so eek, i kind of want to sleep because they will attack you if you haven't slept for i think it's three days and there goes my pickaxe there we go Efficiency. Nice. Gotta love the efficiency. Um, so yeah, those are a, bit, a little bit dangerous, but I don't think they can go through walls, so we should be good. I do want to see one. And then sleep. I actually think I can hear some. I keep thinking I hear like wings or something, but I don't think I do. I think it's just me and my pickaxe and my blocks. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think it should be safe. For us in here anyway, unless they can open doors, which I highly doubt. We can take a look. We do hear skeletons and whatnot outside. Um, just ignore the background noise. That's the neighbors. Noisy neighbors. All right. Um, hmm. I think this should do. I'm not sure about the height, though. Um... Yeah, three is definitely not enough. We might need four or even five. So let me just get this and I'll be right back again. Okay, that now should be done. Now we will go over and we will grab two chests that I have in here. And we'll take those. Then, after that, we'll go ahead and place them right here. Right there. We need to take this pillar down. And we'll just place some torches here so we don't get anything spawning in here. Um, yes, two chests here. Then, back here, we will... That was a phantom. You know what? I'm just going to sleep. Don't really thunders. You can sleep only at night and thunderstorm. Is it stay? They come at the... Okay, we got to check this out. Sorry if this episode is getting quite long, but... I gotta see this for myself. There are phantoms outside. I heard it. I heard it. Something I've never heard before. Alright, show yourself. Phantom. I thought it was it. Didn't you hear like... Kind of like sound... 
Hmm. Maybe it was that thing because of the water. Oh, you scared me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yep, that was the sound. That was it. Die. You die too. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the sound. Anyways, let's go back down. Um, yes, we then need five furnaces. And... Yes, five furnaces. Actually. Yeah. Let's just take... Where's my... Please tell me I have more cobblestone than this. Um, that might be an issue. I need to go down and get some... Well, we need to we need to make at least just two. Wait, we got stone here. You know what? I'll go down and get it. One second. <sighs> got the cobblestone. Now we can make the furnaces. So, we just need to make the two. So I just got exactly for two. And we will now place a hopper system. So, one, hold shift and click on the chest, which will make sure that items are going into the chest. Then do one, so it points towards this one, two, three, four, and five. So we get five here. Place five furnaces. Then we will need two hoppers more, I knew it. I knew I had counted wrong. Um, so let's just get that, no big deal. Quickly get two more chests. Like so, and that should be it then. Here, 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 and here. Perfect. Then, I actually need a lot more, but it's fine for now. Um, then place here, so they are pointing towards the furnaces, and then we need five more. So, hang on tight. I just need to get some stuff going. <laughs> Because I do need five more, which is five, ten, thirty, twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. Eh, be right back. But while they are smelting, we can make this stuff look a little bit better. So let's put that there. Then we can immediately put this here because it will be hidden. Oh, where did it go? There we go. Because this area will be hidden, I will use stairs eventually when um, this area is blocked off. So now, over here, on top of here, we'll be running rails. Basically, this is where all the other five hoppers will be. So we will extend it one. And then, actually... We need to extend it here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. I just need to remember everything. So here. And then. It should go here. And here. And. That's all I can remember right now. Let's get these. And let's get a bunch more chests. Hopefully we will have enough wood. We do. Indeed. And I just need to place five here, five here, five here, five here, and there to get the last two harvests. But then we won't be needing any more harvests. So it is a little bit. Um, does require some resources, but we got it, and I want to make it. So let's put it this way. So the idea is that we are going to have a... Let me just put it right here and here a holding station right here with some powered rail and let's put this in here some powered rail and some normal rail going up so there will be here here normal rail normal rail normal rail the minecart with the chest will run over these and the hovers will pick up the items then this will go around, this will need to be a powered rail, and then this will go here, and it will go basically around and drop down right here. So, if I'm remembering correctly, which I don't, we need to put it up one. Because this right here is going to hold the, um, 
the the coal or the fuel that we're going to be using so needs to have the power rail here go down put this away so we need to have it up one further than the other go all the way over all the way over here so it's going to drop down right here so it's going to end here we will extend this down like so so that it's going to hit that and not outside the the rail so that means we will follow this here actually that's the wrong type of, of terracotta right there let's do this then right here go slow and steady and right there so that should make make it so that my card will go here um actually now that i think about it we need to have it going here here and then up it should be able to do this part over here then wrap around and do that not too hard of a job i do need to power up around right here take that torch away pick it up and i'm pretty sure that completes this rail section actually that was way quicker than when i made it the first time so right here it'll drop down and here and the idea behind this is that i need something to activate it you know what i'll just make a button for now because i'm not gonna go in i need a lever <laughs> i need a lever i'll take a part of my house so here take a lever this lever will power this powered rail which will make the minecart go up it should be able to go all the way up and basically go all the way over but you know what we will give it an extra boost right here i think and then a redstone torch so if we get the redstone i'm changing my design a little bit from my original design but it should all be good so if we place that there no that's going to power that which will not work okay that will not work um you know what we'll give it an extra boost right here here and then normal rail up there we go so technically we should run this over and it stopped right over there because i'm guessing i'm missing a rail or something no because this needs to have power obviously so that cannot be done by so so we do need another lever to keep that on constantly so let's just do this I do know that I will be needing quite a few of these. I think I'll be needing five in total or something. But yes, this needs to be on. Otherwise, it will not be able to go to the other side. Let me just wag it a couple of times. Get that. And remake it. And we shall be able to do it again. So if we go over here. It... Whoops. That was too fast. So go over here should go here drop right down and take the trip again which is exactly what we want which should um, split up the item so each furnace will get one item so that's that now we can also test it real quick so if we do take five iron five give it five iron whoops <laughs> each furnace should be getting one or yes which is exactly what we want so that works perfectly let's just give it some more because i do know that i will be using coal so that is seven 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 and that's it <laughs> that is it so we can we can let that run for a while with that there we go lovely okay so that works so far oh okay so that got stuck apparently 
we don't want it to get stuck ever. So maybe we need an extra power rail here to give it an extra boost just in case that happens again. So do that. There we go. And you know what? I'll just quickly get this off. And yep, that will do that. And I'll quickly turn that off. Put it on back on track, literally. Get it back here. Get back here. Actually do that. Get this out of the way. Put this and eh. There we go. No more rain. And we should be able to resign. And I'm pretty sure that will give it just enough boots boots boost that it should be able to make that. So it's just missing two, I think. I think it got a little bit messed up or something. There we go. That should be good. And this should be... Ah, it's missing. It's missing two. So we now need to see where that went. Um, did find this. It shouldn't be in any of these. If there are... They will basically lock if, um, I think maybe I just counted wrong. Yeah, um, they will basically lock if they have a redstone signal, they will not transfer items through to the other side. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Okay, now it's on to the coal. So to do the coal is basically simple, in my opinion. So <laughs> um, we should be able to run it. We need to run it here actually as well so what i would like to do it a little bit differently so again nope this is a trick with powered rails you know what i'm just gonna smack you for or rails in general because you need you need them to run besides each other but it's not always they want to work um right away so we need to do this and that should be fine right there okay so now i just need to remove this and this and that and nope so here i then need to remove this remove this add that and that hold up and my pickaxe broke <laughs> uh, this is starting to become a nightmare isn't it um let me just get Eh, there we go. Should fix the problem. Not enchanted, but it should definitely do. I forgot how to do this. So, here, we make sure. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Goes from here, 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 and here. Then we remove this with a normal rail. We put this, we add this. Because now it sees, oh, it's going in one direction. Good. And then here, and so we interrupt it like so, adding a lever which should only activate that. Perfect. So now, if we add another lever with a bit of redstone on top, that should now activate the other one if we will just go around. I'm not the greatest redstone, by the way, so there might be um, better ways to do things like I'm doing right now. There are some great redstoners on YouTube, I gotta say. And this is not showing how good they are because it's just stupid. Oh, of course I need that one piece there. Good. It might actually have worked with the with it just being on the side, to be honest then. Here. No, it does need to go around. Fine, it shall go around. We have plenty of redstone. So that's good. Okay, so that now gets powered. It will go all the way over here, drop its coal, and then it will go from here. It will turn around the nightmare again. And here is where the extra bit comes in. We need to be able to turn it around. So here it will turn right around here and come out there. And here is a problem. We do not want to cut the redstone off, so we need basically a slab of anything. And I do know we have a wooden slab right here. 
So in order to not cut off the redstone, because the redstone gets cut off with a full block, but obviously it does not get it cut off with a half block because basically it's not cut off. So now we can do this and it should drop down like a nice boy. Like so. And stay on its side. So now we just need to put the rail, which is always fun, right? Yay. Okay. We have one powered rail left, which is the one that I'm going to use um, right about here somewhere. So it's going to get here. Um, see, this is a tricky part because I need to power this block. Actually, I think I can go away with just powering this one right here. So we got a that can work. That should work. Yes, I'm boxing myself in. That's bad. But you know what? It's fine. Place that there instead. Uh, not that. Go up here. Go around. So let it go like that. Break this. Okay, I have to go around. I cannot, cannot escape that. <laughs> there we go. I can escape presence in the escapers, but that is unescapable. Right there. Uh, put it right there. And rail. And let it go around, basically. To here. Uh, what can it place right there? Oh, because of the lever. We can put that elsewhere. Don't you worry. Let's put it here. We do want an extra power wheel here, actually. Hmm. Okay, let me just skip that. And there. Okay, so we want a power rail here. We have a power rail here, which we need turned on. So for that, we just um, hold up. <laughs> we go over here. We mine this out so I can work. We put here, here, lever. Good. I know it seems complicated, but trust me, it works and you will never have to worry about um, all this furnace stuff again. So let's do that. We'll just make some more powered rails. No problem. We have plenty of gold. I've been talking about I don't know what to use the gold for because it's not really useful, but here is a great use for it. That's it. It should now work. So if we now have eight Coal, five, sorry, five, five coal. That should be even put out throughout the furnaces. So if we put here, five coal, give it a test run, and it goes right back. It works amazingly. And the iron is now smelting, and it will now go through these all the way down here. So, here is our smelter. Job's done. See you next episode. <laughs> uh, not so fast. Um, we do need to pretty it a bit up though. So let's do that real quick. I will admit I do not have enough stairs. But you know what? I will finish it up at another time. So right here. I want to use the birch wood because I will continue the flooring. Might also fix this weird corner here to just be stairs as well and the flooring of course will have to be fixed too um, but for now we can just real quickly just finish it up so like so add this right here add this up here to cut it off right here and so we also have some amazing leave us right here to turn on the um, the whether or not it should transfer its um, coal or if it should not do that <laughs> basically so here we have the controls we should actually make some signs we have some no let's make some then with the last bit of wood we have remaining so Let's put right here, fuel, and 
uh, stuff to be smelted. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. Might not be right, but I like the way that looks. And then I bring stuff to be smelted. Nice. The super smelter 9000 or something. <laughs> I do not have a name for it. If you got a name for the um, for this furnace thingy, you can leave your suggestions down below. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed. I can now finally smelt all these. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I can now finally get to smelt all these ores here with no e issue, issue whatsoever. I got plenty, plenty of stuff here to smelt. I will extend this floor as well. I don't know, actually, this is placed very wrong. And where on earth is that thing now? I think I removed it. Hold on. Yep, I didn't put it back. There we go. Um, yeah, so I do need this open just so that I can, um, I can get to this. Actually, this needs to be there. Um, you know what? We can raise it up a level. Hold up. Remove this. Remove that. Remove this. Put this up. Do this. And do that. Oh dear. No, not this again. Okay, fixed. Spared you for that. <laughs> okay, put that there. And put this here. Put that. Put that. This will still activate this because it's going into the block. Hopefully it will not activate this as well. But even though it should be good, um, and then it will just fall on here. So this now makes it able for me to get in here, give fuel and that, and then, um, yeah, go on here and take the items. There we go. So yes, finally, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and enable notifications to get notified when I upload and also when I live stream. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And again, if you've got a name for it, you can go right ahead. Um, I don't think I'm going to name it, but if you've got any suggestions, well, they are very much welcome. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Also, by the way, if you have any questions regarding this redstone or something like that, um, something you didn't understand or you think that I maybe went too fast, um, be sure to let me know as well. Feedback is always appreciated. Anyways, have a nice day.